another kind of neat application of the Green's theorem uh, that was shown previously is that the area of a region being the integral of just plain old dA over a region is then equal to the integral over the curve of either x dy or the integral over the closed curve of negative y dx, c being the closed curve that encloses the region, the boundary of the region. We move on to another important application, and it, this again is very important down the road. Um, the normal derivative of a scalar function f is defined to be, well, the directional derivative in the direction normal to the boundary. Okay? In other words, we have some region with a boundary. So we have region here, boundary here, and we have the normal vector here. And we have our function f, so that del f dot n is the dot product of the gradient of this scalar function with the outward normal. So what we have is gradient of f dot n uh, being the normal derivative of our scalar function relative again to some boundary in some region. Let's also define del squared f to mean simply the divergence of del f. So we're applying the del operator to f and then applying the del operator to that result. Now, the del operator on f gives us a vector field and then applying the del to the vector field gives us a scalar again. Uh, it's a divergence of the gradient. The gradient of f is a vector field. The divergence is a scalar. It's a number. So del squared f is just the divergence of the gradient. And with this definition, we can write out uh, what that means. The gradient is del f with respect to xi plus del f with respect to yj. And if we dot that with the del operator, again, we get the divergence. Again, this is the divergence operator of the gradient. And when we do this, we do uh, partial with respect to x of the i component. In other words, i component times i component, or i component operating on i component. And we get the second derivative of f with respect to x, which we'll write fxx. And similarly, the uh, j component operates on the j component. Partial with respect to y of partial of f with respect to y is fyy. We call this, we give it a name, we call it the, the Laplace of f. Uh, and we write that del squared f. Now this Laplace and this del squared f is, as we've seen, a divergence of something. We know that the integral over region of the divergence of a function integrated over that region with respect to area is equal to the integral over the closed boundary curve of f dot n uh, with respect to uh, arc distance. Well, if instead of f we use gradient of little f, so if we let our big f field just be the gradient, the del f of our little f, then we can write that the, uh, that the integral of the divergence of the gradient, and this should be with respect to area. I uh, don't have room to write that in, uh, so we'll just leave it uh, as an omission here, but understand that this is with respect to A. Okay, again, if we let our f function be the gradient of our little f function, if we let our vector function big F be the gradient of some other function, then we have the integral over the region of the divergence of the gradient field, then would be equal to the integral over C of the gradient field dotted with n. 
the gradient of f dotted with n with respect to x. Well, the divergence of the gradient is, as we've seen, just del squared f. So the integral over the region of del squared f with respect to area is equal to the gradient of f dotted with n, gradient of f dotted with n, which is just our definition of the normal derivative. And we have the interpretation then that the integral of the Laplacian over the region with respect to area. So we've got our region here. We integrate the Laplacian over this region and our region has normal vectors all around it, vectors perpendicular to the boundary. I'm sorry, the region, the boundary of our region has normal vectors all around it. And our function f has a gradient. And if we take that gradient at every point here, so that we take a del f at every point, we do del f dot n, that is we find the component of the gradient perpendicular to the boundary and we integrate that all the way around the curve. And that integral is going to equal the integral of the Laplacian over the interior. I'm not even sure that was all visible, so let's make sure. Interior, uh, the integral of the Laplacian over the interior of the region, and uh, INT could stand for integral or interior. The integral of the Laplacian over the region with respect to area is equal to the integral of the normal component of del f around the boundary. You won't understand how profound this result is right away. Uh, you have to work some problems, deal with some situations. Uh, just suffice it to say that this is a, a, a very important idea in engineering uh, and in higher mathematics and as well as physics.